Have you ever wondered how CSGO pros can always seem to tell which bomb site is the weaker site in their matches, how they're always choosing the site that has the least resistance? Today, I'm gonna teach you guys what they are doing in order to figure this out. And it's actually simpler than you guys may think. And I'm gonna be able to give you guys a better understanding of how you should be playing Counter-Strike and kind of give you a fresh way to think about things so that you can start playing like these pros. But before we get into the video, guys, I have a message from the sponsor of today's vid. This video is brought to you by Keydrop. On Keydrop, you can open up a variety of cases that contain very cool drops. If you do not like what you unbox, they also have an upgrader mode that gives you a chance to win a better skin, or you can also use their skin changer mode to change your skin to one of your liking. They even have case battles where you can test your luck by opening custom cases against an opponent. There are also a ton of tasks that you can do to get free gold, which in turn allows you to open up free cases. They have a lot of different deposit methods, including credit cards, crypto, and even CSGO skins. And if you use my promo code, KOJOMO, you get a free 50 cents and a 10% bonus on your deposit, which helps both of us out. All right, now let's talk about it. Let's talk about what you need to be doing on your T-site in order to figure out how you know we can take advantage of information that our teammates get the information that we're getting in order to formulate a plan so that we can be decisive and fast when we play this game um, now this guide is going to be mostly helpful if you're playing with a five stack or four stack of players or with your team if, if any of you are an actual team this guide is going to be really helpful um, if you're a solo player you can kind of take advantage of this but it's going to be harder for you to do so but it's still good to understand now um Let's take a map like Inferno, for example. I wanted to use this map because it is one of the easiest maps to do this. Why? Because the CT rotates are so long to each site, right? Such long rotates and the CTs have to put three on one site and two on the other or four, whatever, right? They have to stack one of the sites. They can't just freely rotate and be fast rotators to either one. And on T side, it's relatively easy to take control. So I think Inferno is a great example of this concept and, um, the concept guys is getting information right so an easy way to do this is if you guys see like three sets of utility coming in banana maybe you have a banana player in here and he's like guys there's three b there is three b there's three b that is such good information because guess what now we know a site is so vulnerable right they can only have two people on this whole entire bomb site one of them you know there, there's three ways to go out here apps you know, lane side and arch side. They cannot hold every angle. They cannot hold everything and they will not be able to handle if four people are running in. So what professional players do with that 3B info is like, okay, sweet. You know, we can we can maybe take this arch space, maybe smoke off lane, throw our util, and we can take this arch space and now we have a good foothold into the round because we have arch. Um so when you when you have this information, it can be extremely good. You know, maybe we throw a rap smoke off that info. We flash out brackets and you know we really make the ct's life miserable because now we're pushing them back and getting into the ct space and doing our thing or vice versa maybe it's like hey guys heavy b heavy b and you're like okay dang heavy b but let's just uh let's let's see what we can get uh lane side you know let's let's uh push it up lane side and see what we can get here man trade out okay they're they're not here let's keep walking up let's do our thing but see what i mean we know 3b so now we're pushing up lane and we're making the weaker site very uncomfortable it's the same thing guys like same exact concept if the cts you know smoke mid and are flashing over and your guy your guy all mid's like bro there's there's three here there's three here and then you just saw that flash come in so your b players are like bro let, let's just take this fight let's push it up here and and roll the dice and and you know see what we can do because half the time the ct player is going to be sitting here with a smoke out you know like smoking off uh, as soon as he makes contact right so inferno especially guys it's all about finding that information and doing this but you can apply these concepts to every single map you play find out where the cts are stacking and find where their weak point is as a t side you know you never want to go into their stack site you never want to go into their their setup right there's so many players that you know even at a high level don't understand this i i've i've uh, been in situations where I have a teammate that's like, guys, they're stacked brackets. They're, they're boosted brackets. They're stacked here. And then another teammate's like, okay, well, let's let's smoke off Arch and, and fight them. And while th that's literally what the CTs want you to do. They have a guy playing up here, maybe. They have a guy playing anti-flash down here. And now we're throwing all this util and they're stacked here and then they're mowing us down. Like, it's just, why? Like, th that's where they wanted us to go. 
Um, so using this information is going to be your key to succeeding in, inside of Counter-Strike. And it doesn't even matter, guys. Like, like if there is a, you know, a half wall smoke here, maybe, right? And your teammates are calling for pushing all mid. That smoke is irrelevant. Don't even worry about that smoke. Throw a flash through. Have two guys pop through and run through here. That smoke needs to not even matter because you have all of the information and you need to take advantage of it. Same thing with this smoke, man. Guys, there's 4A, 4A. We'll have two guys jump through here and trade out, have a flash come over. Be relentless. The reason your key sides are so bad is because you're not using this information and you're not taking advantage of it with speed. You're not urgent with this information and you're not making the CT's life hard. You're making the CT's life so easy because they're giving you all this information and you're like, oh, okay, I'm just going to keep walking around and doing my thing. I'm, I'm, not, I'm just going to keep doing, you know, whatever I want. So take advantage of the information teams are giving you. Do your best. And guys, I have lots of guides on this channel teaching you how to become a better player. I strongly recommend you check them out and hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. Over 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subs by the end of the year and you guys can help me out so much. Share this video, do your thing. I'm going to keep making videos every single day for all of you. This year is going to be great for us. So I just wanted to tell you guys that message real quick and I appreciate every single one of you guys. So peace out. Have a good day. I'll catch you guys later.